What's up, friend? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new here. Hi, if you're not. We are here again, gathered today to react to some more scammy content from people all over the internet. So thank you to everyone who submitted content. The form to submit content for me to react to is linked in the description below. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Whoa. <laughs> Drinking our trusted President's Choice sparkling water. If you know, you know. First up, we have a video of someone who has been featured on this channel before. It is titled 10K months, 10K weeks, 10K days. And I can assure you that this is probably not going to end well. 10K months, 10K weeks, and now 10K days. This is what I've done in the last two years of growing my business. That's insane. It would have taken me months to do $10,000. I mean, 10, 000, like I was getting 3,500 bi-weekly with all the taxes and stuff taken out. So about, you know, 2,600 a month. That would have taken me 3.84 months of working 40 hours a week. And we have done 10K days. Like right now, even today, in one of our accounts, we're up $7,243. Okay. <laughs> it's called the compound effect. By compound effect, do you mean like the scammer compound effect? Or like, what are we thinking? Don't you dare let another day go by where you don't show up on social media and sell your service, where you don't show up and make content for your audience that shows the problem that they have, that educates them and solves them for them. Then sell your service on your stories, promote your offers and get better at it. Refine your business. Okay, that's not bad advice. As someone who works in the small business space, has owned multiple small businesses over the years, I think that a lot of business owners aren't successful because they don't know who their ideal client is, they don't know what problem they solve, and they don't show up and they don't talk about that solution. She is right in saying that if you want to build a successful business, you need to know those things. You need to know who you are talking to, you need to show up and actually talk to them, and you need to be willing to sell the thing that you are selling, sell the thing that you're selling. Show up and offer the thing that you're selling because nobody gives a f about your business. Nobody knows what you sell. You have to show up and tell them. So that in itself is not wrong. However, just like all of the content that I talk about here on this channel, I find it difficult to listen to people like this because the way, in my opinion, that they're making so much money is by overpricing mediocre services, but then selling it to people as if it's like this golden ticket solution. So it's not exactly authentic or honest, in my opinion. When I look at this, I'm like, this is insane. Now, a couple of different things that I do have set up already in my business. Obviously, I have the brand. I have a movement. People know me. But that's only because in the beginning, I decided one day I'm going to own a million dollar brand. I'm going to start showing up as her now. And I knew that my million dollar self would be showing up every single day on social media. The other thing is, is that because I've built so much, uh, like so much depth inside of my community, when we have an offer, we can just go and sell it on social media and people will buy. We also help our clients get incredible transformations. People love working with us and then they want to keep working with us. And so, a lot of people are like, you're, you're trying to be someone who's making $10,000 a day, but you haven't done the work to get there. And I'll let you know when we start doing 10K days every day. We don't do 10K days every day. Our average day is around $3,000 to $5,000 a day. Eventually, it'll be our new average will be $10,000 to $20,000 a day. Maybe even 100K a day. Who knows? But that's only because since the beginning I've been moving, I've never unplugged, I've never backed out, I've never said like, oh, this isn't for me anymore, I'm gonna go do something else. I've always stayed in the game. And the compound effect is what has been working for me. And by stayed in the game, she means doing exactly what she's selling. So I know for a fact that this individual works with another coach who I featured on this channel, and they're all kind of caught up in the cult that is coaching in that, let's say this coach pays her coach $50,000, she has clients working with her who are paying $20,000. She said in the video herself that her clients continue to work with her 
And I think that's because when you're in the coaching industry, you are really led to believe and convinced that the only way you're going to be successful is to continue to pay for mentorship. And so these people keep paying money and money and money and money to build their businesses and to convince other people to pay them money and money and money. And really, everyone is like getting rich but no one's actually selling anything of value, at least in my opinion and from what I've seen covering this kind of content over the course of the past 12 months. So I know this might be like a controversial one, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments because it just really s demonstrates how like out of touch with reality I think a lot of these large players in the coaching space tend to be in my opinion. Okay, this next one was sent to me by one of you through my Instagram DMs. And when I saw it, it actually like made me laugh out loud. So that's why I put it in this video. What's the best way to make $10,000 a month? The best way, in my opinion, to make $10,000 a month is by selling a high ticket product or service. It is a lot easier to make $10,000 or $20,000 or even $100,000 by selling a Rolex where each Rolex is $20,000 versus a Casio that's only $10. It is a lot easier to make a lot more money when the product and service you're selling is higher ticket. It gives you better commissions, the clients are better, they don't negotiate on price, and they know the value. Okay, the interesting piece about this perspective, and this isn't unique, I've seen this kind of spewed a lot in the coaching space, this idea of like charge more for your services and that's how you're gonna make money, is that none of them really ever talk about how to actually make your services worth that amount of money so much as basing prices on how much money they wanna make overall. So I've talked about this example in so many of my videos, but if I wanna make a million dollars a year, I wanna work one hour a day, one day a week for the whole year, I would have to charge something like $20,000 an hour to be able to achieve that goal. And so I put together a service, I sell it for $20,000, I reach my goal of making a million dollars. That's great for me, but my question is, are my clients actually getting a service that's worth $20,000 or am I just operating in an industry where charging prices like that has become so normalized? Because I think it's the latter. And so let's take a peek at the caption and see how this individual explains or justifies what they're talking about. It says, this is by far the best way to make $10,000 a month without needing a ton of followers. Also an interesting claim to be making. So if right now, you are struggling to get $100,000 or a million dollars, increase your prices. Again, what is justifying you increasing your prices? If we think about pricing in business, this is a topic that I cover with my private clients. But when we're thinking about pricing, there are three key factors we wanna take into consideration. Ultimately, pricing comes down to understanding what your costs are, so how much it actually costs you to produce the product or service that you're selling. And so in the case of a service-based business, it's like how much is one hour of your time worth? You also wanna determine what your overhead costs are, so what are the costs of you actually being able to run your business. And then typically you would add some sort of percentage markup to that price. So again, it's basically the cost of your product or service, the cost of your overhead, and then multiplied by whatever percentage markup is fair market value for your services. And so a lot of the times this comes down to comparing yourself to the industry standard. So like what other people in your industry are charging. And I think that this is where it gets really convoluted specifically in the coaching space. And what I mean by this is that basically the coaching industry industry has normalized people charging thousands of dollars for their services to the point where if you're not charging thousands of dollars, people are like, ooh, you must not be a very good coach because most coaches would charge $5,000 for this service. When the reality is, in my opinion at least, the services and advice and things that they're providing aren't worth thousands of dollars. It's just that somewhere along the way, someone's ego was big enough to believe they were worth $90,000 an hour. Watch this stream about Jay Shetty if you don't know what I'm talking about. And it's basically led all of these amateurs to then think that it's okay for them to charge thousands of dollars. At least that's my opinion. I would love to hear yours in the comments below. Let's continue. If you wanna figure out how to leverage Insta in order to make more money, comment sales to apply to our Digital Sales Academy, where we will show you exactly how you can make $100,000 in just a few months from now, all by using your phone, without needing a ton of followers and without taking any risk at all. I have no idea who this person is, but I can almost guarantee you that this is going to mirror one of the original business coaching pyramid scheme videos that I made on this channel, which you have not watched, you should click here and listen. Anyway, that's an aside. 
I don't like this. I hate it here. What else is new, honestly? All that to say, if you are interested in learning how to become a millionaire, perhaps you should consider joining my channel membership. Information is linked down below. Just click the join button. Shout out to my channel VIP members. You guys are the real MVPs. I also introduced a billionaire tier. So if being a millionaire wasn't enough, now's your chance. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next video. Okay, next up we have an Instagram reel, it looks like. And basically it says, here is how my client made $500 in 15 minutes by doing this one thing. And then it says to check out the caption to learn more. So immediately I don't like this because this really plays into the idea of I did this thing once or my client did this thing once, therefore anyone can do it anytime, which if you've watched my content, you know that I don't believe this is true. Just because I had a certain level of success in my business doesn't mean that I have some secret copy paste formula that will result in you getting the same results. But what I see too often in the coaching industry in general is people generalizing their success as this sort of blueprint that other people can follow to get the exact same result. When yes, there are valuable things that I could teach you based on my experiences and the successes I've had, but to kind of like suggest or guarantee that someone else is gonna have the same result to me is an immediate red flag. So let's go ahead and see what this caption says. Ready for it? My client started working with me. She was making online sales, but not consistently. She felt like she was trying the spaghetti strategy where she was trying every strategy and essentially throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something stuck. What was she missing? Answering the questions and objections her clients had about purchasing and integrating it into her content. I had her go back to her market search call material we had done and added in trust slash authority content into her IG strategy and IG lives. Now, please keep in mind, she did this to her complete trust funnel, which I taught her how to build out and boom. She made a $500 sale within 15 minutes of implementing it. Okay, again, we don't really have enough context here to know what this person's business was, what it was they were selling, whether or not they had a video go viral. There's so many factors at play here that while it sounds really simple and straight to the point in this caption, and I could see how someone who maybe lacks critical thinking skills might think like, wow, that sounds great, I wanna do it too. To me, as someone who's like very skeptical of this kind of information, I'm like, hmm. I feel like you're not telling me the whole story. Another one of my clients used my method to create her messaging funnels and boom, she's now hitting 25K plus months. It's now your turn to learn what my clients get and the best part, small shifts make the biggest difference when it comes to sales. Comment revenue and I'll send you my masterclass so you can implement today and make more sales immediately. In my opinion, again, doesn't really paint the whole picture. Also, this is just like the classic tactic of just posting about how much money you're making as a means of getting more clients versus like actually providing value on your Instagram reels. I covered this in the part two of my MRR series where I'm finding a lot of the people that are selling MRR, well, they've like mental gymnastics tricked themselves into thinking that they're providing value to their community. Really all they're doing is bragging about how much money they made, which obviously money sells. People wanna learn how to make money. So it's a really popular way to like make these flashy income claims in order to get people to buy what you're selling. So that's what I kind of think is going on here. And uh, thank you again to whoever submitted this to me because I freaking hate it here. Okay, next up we have what looks like someone trying to recruit us into the coaches, coaching, coaches pyramid. And all the real says on screen is, is it time to start your online coaching business? Let's find out. So let's find out. So you're a newer aspiring coach. How do you know if it's the right time to start? Great question. Considering my mentorship for new and aspiring coaches is open for enrollment. Immediate red flag in my opinion, I'm taking it that she has a program where she helps new coaches start their coaching business. So that's already a hard pass for me. This sounds like a get rich quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick, we all will. The rock stars who have already signed up took the lead, but is it right for you? Honestly, this program isn't for everyone. If you don't wanna do the work, it's best to skip it. Why do all of these coaches use the tactic of like shaming and gaslighting people in hopes of like getting them to sign up for their program? So basically like, if you're lazy and you don't wanna have to do any work, this isn't for you. I don't like work with lazy people. It's like a backhanded way, I guess. The idea is that people will read this and be like, I'm not lazy, I'm motivated and ready to change my life. But it just seems so gross to me to like, phrase it in such a shamey way. So pop quiz, ready? Take out a number two pencil and let's figure out if this is a good fit. JK about the pencil, by the way, just follow along. If you check yes to at least three quarters of the next couple questions, this program is gonna be absolutely a chef's kiss, perfect fit for you. 
Deep down, you know you would be 10 times happier if you were consistently sharing your gifts and using your full skill set with your clients, but you don't know where to start. This is classic coach recruitment tactics of like, you were meant for so much more. You have this great purpose that you should be sharing with the world and you're doing a disservice by keeping it to yourself. I say this as someone who used to fall for this. I used to be a coach. I used to think that I had some magical, amazing gift to share with the world. It's all ego. Watch this video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Don't worry, we have a system for that. You know how to get clients results. You're a great coach and you need the business side of things to stack up so you can finally make the impact you desire. You've tried the DIY method and you're over trying to piece this stuff together. Okay, but do you actually know how to get clients results? Because where is your skills and expertise? Where are the results? Shouldn't the results speak for yourself? And that's gonna be what makes you more money, not just like raising your prices so you can sign fewer clients and make more money. I have a suspicion that's what's going on here. More than anything, you just need someone to give you a proven process that takes you step-by-step step through methods that work and can finally get you to consistently signing those clients you want to serve. Are you ready to lean in to grow and push yourself to a new level, learning new skills and becoming better? In the next four months, you wanna start making two to $5,000 a month with your coaching business. And of course you can grow from there. Believe me, I get it. That's why everything in this program is un Trust me, I know you want to make this online coaching business happen and you don't want to wait another three to five years to see the return on your time. If you could find a streamlined system to profitable clients, work from home, and still crush it, would you take me up on it? Oh my god, and then this caption keeps going in the comments. I know you have massive goals, but you also want to live big too, aka rip on life. What if you had a way to get the freedom you desire and a way to time and money freedom a way forward? You'd say hell yes in a heartbeat, right? I promise not to peek at your answers if you promise to be honest. Less than three, then it might be best to skip the program for now. Three plus, this was made for you. Come join us slash sign up now for the program. We're waiting for you. It's time to surround yourself with a group of like-minded rat asses ready to chew gum and kick some ass. And we're all out of gum. Your biggest paycheck and shortest work weeks are just 16 weeks away. We start on October 25th. What are you waiting for? Smash that link in bio now. Okay, first of all, as an aside, I absolutely detest the copy. And I guess I'm just not the ideal client for this program. So this kind of style of writing does not resonate with me at all. Am I a prude? Maybe. Second of all, I think that this particular individual is really just a prime example of someone who got into coaching, realized the most lucrative way to make money as a coach was to focus on coaching other coaches. And now their whole personality is coaching other people on how to launch their own successful coaching business. And it seems to me like she's really targeting beginners if she's targeting people that are making less than $5,000 a month and basically promising them that she has the secret to help them work from home and take a full time. So I think it's safe to say that I absolutely hate it here if you didn't already guess that. And uh, I'm really upset with whoever sent this to me because I'm actually sweating. <laughs> I'm getting so upset. Okay, this video actually ended up being a lot shorter than I expected. Some of the videos that I went to watch, the privacy settings wouldn't let me. So I don't know if I got blocked or what's going on. But thank you so much to anyone who submitted content. If you have content you want me to react to, I have a Google form linked down below. Please don't fall for a coaching scam. If anyone's promising you the secret to making $10,000, all they're gonna do is take your $10,000. So run away, run in the opposite direction. Stay safe out there, folks. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, take care, comb your hair. And I'm gonna leave you with this video right here where someone lost $20,000 to a small business coaching scam and it's a big yikes from me. So bye.